The sun is up, it's a beautiful day My beginning will be as bright as the sun Come, won't you come along And it feels so bright It's like luck is raining on me Go and follow your heart Doesn't matter how far well, hello all my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land and welcome back to the Hewitt Homestead. I'm coming to you from the tropical rainforest of Florida. At least that's what it feels like because we've had a ton of rain lately. We are sitting in mud puddles. As you can see, we've got standing water everywhere. We have had like two or three days of almost solid rain and it has been just crazy around here this does not feel like february february is usually pretty cold for us but uh, man it's like i'm out here in my t-shirt and shorts uh the sun this is the first day that we've had some decent sun and uh it is so wet out here but anyways, I wanted to come at you guys with a short video today because uh, we're going to be working on uh, putting together that video that I promised you on the last video uh, when I was talking to you about us getting our wetland survey done. I told you that I got a video coming up from last weekend when me and Kean we went on that uh, FCF camping trip, the uh, Frontiersman Christian Fellowship, um, and uh, I'm going to get working on that and try and get that out by tomorrow. But I wanted to give you guys an update today because we got our wetland survey done. And as we kind of expected, but we're hoping for, you know, better. But we have uh, this area behind me that we were hoping we would be able to put our house. And I have this yellow tape marker, a uh, tape measure here marking uh, kind of where we wanted to put the house. I've got good news and I've got bad news. Let me get in a better position, get you on widescreen angle, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, you see that marker right there? Pink and blue? That is the boundary of the wetlands. Everything to that side is high and dry, and everything to that side is wet. So all of these woods over here is wetlands. And there's my marker. <laughs> now, the line goes to that marker right here. And that crosses right about there. So that half is in the wetlands. And this half, <laughs> well, that's in the uplands. So one of two things is going to have to happen either we have to move the whole entire house over here because this is what they say is good in uplands or we're going to have to look into doing what they call mitigation where we pay uh, for mitigated wetlands uh, out of a wetland bank and then we're allowed to build on top of these wetlands I'm estimating about 2,000 square feet um, of wetlands that needs to be built on um, well, that would, you know, that would need to be uh, sectioned off uh, for, for a house and then a little bit of yard around house. <sighs> so I don't know what we're going to do, guys. Um, we are kind of, we're kind of at a place where, well, at least we know and now we can start moving forward with certainty, but about 90% of what we kind of hoped was going to be able to happen isn't going to be able to happen. So we kind of going to have to not start over at the very beginning, but we are starting over. So that's going to be it for right now. I just want to give you guys that update. We've got a project we're going to work on. We're going to start putting back together our, our swing sets that we brought out here from our old house that have been sitting over here uh, disassembled in a pile for the last three, four months and uh, get those put up. But uh, so that's where we sit so far, you guys. We got all this right here that we uh, want to put the house in from about, where's it at? That tree over there is wetlands. Going to have to see if we can mitigate that and use it. If not, we'll just have to slide everything over and put it in this open area. The reason we're not wanting to put it in this open area right here, we want to keep this open, is because 
well we kind of wanted to put the house over here and have garden beds and stuff in this area Whew, look at this that's how, that's how much rain we've had now this is kind of a low spot but it hasn't rained when's the last time it rained i guess it was raining a little bit this morning still so it just stopped raining this morning after about 24 to 36 hours of constant rain as you can see i got a nice little pond here but uh this isn't wetlands this is good uplands we can bring this up we can put uh raised planter beds in here it's nice and open it gets a lot of sun and we could we would like to put the house over here but that's only if we can mitigate that if we have to move the house over we are gonna have to find a, another place to garden which is fine we've got 11 acres to garden on <clears throat> but this area already being this clear uh being this close to the house would be fantastic either way uh since the home build is probably 10 to 12 months off anyways um you guys are going to see coming up soon uh we are going to go ahead and use this area this spring this year and we're going to put some raised beds over here and some raised bed hugel culture beds and we're going to grow over here this spring and that's going to be exciting we're super excited about that and yeah it's only february but here in florida um you know in a couple of weeks we'll be safe of any freeze um and we can go ahead and get our get our seeds in the ground and get our garden started uh that is one of the blessings about living here in florida is we have a very long growing season and it starts like in march so it's going to be good well we're going to be hanging out with the fam the rest of the day, putting together this swing set. I'm going to get some video of that, and that will be coming up in the future. Love you guys. I want you to know we appreciate every single one of you for being here. So go ahead, click that subscribe button, and uh, follow us along as we embark on turning this 11 acres of raw land into a homestead. We love you guys. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.